To another Fabulous Day of Learning at Oakview Elementary School, where our vision is to promote a high-performing culture and climate that inspires our community of learners to achieve academic excellence. Our mission is to reach, to teach, and to equip. And our theme for the year is maximizing our potential. Let's all pause now so we can recite our student creed. I am an Oakview Elementary School student. I have great expectations for myself. I accept the challenge to be the best student that I can be. I am proud of my school. The vision of Oakview is to promote a high-performance culture and climate to inspire our community of learners and achieve academic excellence. I accept the responsibility for my behavior and its results. I am determined to be safe, responsible, productive, and respectful. I have high expectations for myself and I reach my full potential. I choose to be great. Parents, we are having our Principal Advisory Council on this Thursday. The Principal Advisory Council is a council that is put in place to hold the principals accountable for school improvement. If you would like to provide two-minute comments at the com a council meeting on Thursday evening, please send those to Shalonda Gibson at thecabschoolsga.org. Again, that is Ms. Shalonda Gibson at thecabschoolsga.org and she will make sure that your comments are heard during that time. Um, we are also having our parent Title I stakeholder input. I really, really need you all to come out either on Sunday, May 16th at 1 o'clock and we will also have a repeat of the same meeting on Thursday, May 20th at 6.30. So you can choose which works best for your schedule that Sunday, May 16th, that is this coming Sunday at 1 o'clock or next Thursday, May 20th at 6.30. The purpose of this meeting is for you to give us feedback on how we're doing as a school, ways that we can improve, ways that we can continue to support you, ways that you feel that teachers can support you and things that we can provide to our teachers to better support you. So I really need your feedback. Please don't leave it up just to my mind. Um, it always works better when we are a collective unit putting our brains together. Um, so please make plans to attend one of those meetings. And again, that is May 16th, this coming Sunday at one o'clock or next Thursday, May 20th at 6.30. I appreciate you so much. We have a few more days and then we have ended this year successfully. I appreciate you. Attention fourth grade students. This is your opportunity to sign up for the Poetry Slam. Can you write a verse? Are you any good at rhyming? Have you ever written a poem and would like to share it? Here's what you need to do. Fill out an entry form on your classwork tab, fourth grade only. Submit a two minute presentation by YouTube, Flipgrid video or written response in paragraph form or via flyer. Entry forms must be submitted by Wednesday, May 12th. Good morning, boys and girls. We are going to be drawing, kind of challenging, but this dragon today. And a shout out goes to Joe Von Fordham in Miss Wade's class. He asked to see a dragon, so I'm gonna draw a dragon. Hopefully you can follow along. All right, let's fit that in there. Okay, <clears throat> so we are gonna start with one really thick curvy line, because notice, it's kind of the body of the dragon. It's just a curved line. So I'm gonna start up here. And if your curve's a little different, that's okay. Just like that. Then we're going to 
do what we normally do and follow along the line, but we're going to stop at a couple points. So I'm going to go up here, and this is part of the tail. Come down. And then I'm going to stop right there, because I actually want to go ahead and put a leg on the back while, um, so that I don't draw through it. So we're going to do the part of the thigh, just like that. And then straight line, straight line. And then just any kind of claw you want. I put a little claw on the back and then three in the front. But if you want to do it a little differently, that's fine. All right, so we're going to keep going. So starting over here, come back up. Remember, we're just kind of following along the curve that we already did. And then we are going to, let's see, stop right there. Now we want to... draw the front leg. So you're going to do a straight line, straight line, and then curve it around, curve it around, and then again the claw, however you drew it. Just draw it the same as the first one you did, just like that. All right, I'm going to continue on. I'm going to come up here, and then stop about there because we want to go ahead and draw the face. You can draw the face a little different, but what I did was I kind of did a, a most, almost like you're making an S, but a really thin S. So just like that curve line. I'm going to come up here where I went and curve around. Then you just want to draw kind of like a V in between it to show an open mouth. We can put a tongue, which is wavy line another wavy line follow and then I usually do them with a little V ending just like that draw a small oval for a nostril hole for their nose and then any kind of eye you want I usually do like a thin teardrop to make it look a little bit menacing all right now we got to draw in all oh actually let's go ahead and put other front leg, which are two lines, and then again just the claw, however you did it. And then the back leg, same thing, you're just going to put it over on this other side. Line, line. Okay, there are my claws. Now to add detail, so you guys can do it any way you want, but I put spikes all along his back and neck and head. So it's just spikes or just V's. Notice I'm just drawing, well they're upside down, but so spikes all the way. You could do bigger spikes or smaller spikes. So there are my spikes. Back here, I just did what kind of looks like, almost like it, you're trying to make a fire, even though I colored it green, but lines just zigzag all the way around it, just like that. And then lastly, you start here at the tail and curve around. You're just going to kind of follow the lines you already created, but leaving a little bit of space, it makes it look as if that's his belly. So we have an extra line there, and then I'm just going to go along and just put little straight, straight lines. Again, it just shows his belly, or the underside of him. And there you go. There is your dragon. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day. I will see you in class.